Hi, I'm Milani Douglas, and I am so happy to welcome you again to another episode of The Curative Collective. The Curative Collective is a part of reclamation and online exhibition and portal of your recipes, remedies, and rituals and food stories here at the National Museum of Women in the Arts. Reclamation is made possible by our generous donors and also a grant from the National Endowment of the Arts and presented in partnership with 1015 Multimedia and the Family Arts Museum. Today, we are excited to have Tola join us today. She is an artist. She's an interior designer, a hotelier, and a restauranteur. And she was going to tell us about this amazing book that she has. I have it in my hands. Oh, it is beautiful. Tola, how are you? Before I, you know, I was so ready to jump into the beauty of what you presented here. I can tell your amazing artistry and interior design just because of the way that you have put together this book. It's stunning. How are you today? I am great. I'm so delighted to be here. That's wonderful. And so you are on location in Nigeria. Is that true? That is oh, correct. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us where you're on location. Let's start with where you are and then work into this book. Where are you right now? I am in Lagos capital of uh, Nigeria. I am currently at home. Um, yeah, so not too far from the Rishishi kitchen, but I'm in Lagos and it's about 6 p.m. here. Oh, that's wonderful. And tell us about your, the Rishishi kitchen and also how people can come and stay and experience the cooking and also just your hospitality. Okay, so the Rishishi kitchen is based in Bugabri House which is uh, a boutique hotel in Ikoyi, Lagos. And Bogobri's actually been around for a few years now. And it's really all about um, celebrating Nigerianness. And so when I came back from the UK a few years ago, I set it up with my business partner, uh, Chike. And so we have um, rooms all individually designed, um, all sort of, it's very sort of homely, earthly. I mean, you feel like you're definitely in Nigeria. When I first came back to Nigeria, there, was, there wasn't anything that kind of showcased us. So it was something that I felt like this needed to be done. And so we opened the hotel up and then my business partner is an is a, uh, art uh, person, he's a curator. So we have lots of beautiful Nigerian art in the hotel and we have lots of live music. And um, of course we have um, the, the restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. We have the bamboo restaurant originally, which had sort of, you know, had Nigerian food, but not like the traditional Nigerian food and catered for like, an, almost like international clientele. But there was such a massive urge to do, so it was, I mean, do Nigerian food. And through sort of traveling, and I grew up in the UK, and I knew I had Nigerian dishes that I ate all the time coming from the Southwest. Um, but I travel with work for my interior design. And I came across all these like, amazing Nigerian dishes I didn't know about because I'm in the Southwest and these are from the Southeast and the South South. And so we set up the Oishishi kitchen in Bugabri House, which caters to um, purely um, Nigerian food, um, what we call soup and swallow. And swallow because um, it's sort of, you, you, you put the dough, it could be um, yam, it could be some avita, it could be Gary, which is hot cassava, and you dip into the sauce. So it's a soup and swallow kitchen, which serves um, people from outside and also all the guests that come into Bugabri House. And because it, it's quite an international place, it's important that we serve sort of and quite authentic, traditional, it's not fusion, it's traditional um, Nigerian food. Wow, yeah. that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems that um, some of the more popular recipes are right here in this book as well. Mm -hmm. um, you opened up the book, there was one um, recipe that I was like, oh, I really want to try this. And I think it's called, let me see, the native soup that looks uh, that, delicious. That is my favorite dish. That is my favorite dish. And you know why? Because it was weird. I mean, I, I know I grew up in London, but I came back to Nigeria. I, was, I discovered it quite late, you know. And when I discovered, I was like, where? Where have I been? And it's right. just such a delicious dish, you know. Um, it's just so because of this very seafoody, um, but of course it's got sort of the earthy feel, the smells, and the and the what you the effort and the uh, and the um, 
Coco Yam as well. So it's kind of like sea and land. So it's really, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful dish. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I don't know why it took me so long to kind of find out about it, but I've been in love ever since. So, yeah. Well, you open us up right too and take us to your favorites. And of course, um, no West African cookbook, in my opinion, especially if you're talking about Nigeria, Ghana, and Senegal even, none of it could be complete without Stella Price. Yes. We know about the grand wars, particularly between yes. Nigeria and Ghana about jollof rice. Yeah. So I, I have to try this recipe. I think the, the jollof, the zobo, and the puff puff, um, and then also um, there was one of the soups are going to be our first stops in this uh, cookbook. Fantastic. I think mm -hmm. the jollof rice is... Um, it's a bit different because we use it with basmati rice, um, mm -hmm. but it's just as delicious. Of course, Nigeria wins hands down on the jollof rice war. Of course. <laughs> you better say it. You better say it. You could not of course. get away without saying it. Yes. And so yeah. how, I, you also have your mom's, you have a mess of recipe from your mom. It has one yeah. of your, your mom's favorite, one of your favorite recipes from your mom. And so tell us, how did you get into cooking and um, just your journey to to where you are and that being such a huge part of your life right now. Yeah. So I come from a, a family of um, big foodies. Um, my earliest memory is just being with my, you know, my grandparents and they live in a place called Ife and going there and just, you know, smelling the food. And obviously then they cooked outside with sort of charcoal and you had the jollof rice and so had that lovely smoky taste. Um, so, and my mother is obviously an amazing cook as well. She, um, she loves, I mean, food. we all love food in my family. My brother's also an amazing cook. And, and so I've always had food um, sort of around me. So I started sort of cooking from, when I was really in the UK and trying to sort of, cooking Nigerian food particularly, because obviously I, I went to the UK when I was eight years old. And so I was aboarding away from Nigeria. And so cooking Nigerian food was really a way for me to kind of, you know, um, you know, just keep my roots kind of going. So I used to cook a lot for my friends, and that's how, how it really started. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a chef, um, but uh, I love to eat the good food. I love to entertain my husband. We have we do a lot of entertaining at home, so we always have people around. And food is just a big, really big part of our life. So writing the book, something I actually wanted to do for a long time. But to me, the the Richie cookbook and the dishes I chose were really because I feel that having grown up not in Nigeria, and I know that many of us like this, and those who are you know, second generation, first generation um, Nigerians who lived away for so long, it was really important to document these recipes. And so um, I, know, I know about the country because the country is huge. And we have, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's right. so many more dishes, right? Yeah. And so these ones I selected because they're quite well known and um, the ones I feel that really, everyone should really know how to cook. So a um, lot of people have always been there and, you know, through Bogaboo, setting up the hotel, um, the kitchen is also the really important part of what we do. And so working with the chefs at the uh, Bamboo Kitchen and the Oshushu Kitchen is just sort of, you know, being part of what I do from day one. So, um, yeah, that's, I've always been into it. So it's just, it's just an amazing opportunity. I think lockdown allowed me to finally write my book. So, um, yeah, it was really, it's like, that's really how, I, how it started. Well, you did a fantastic job. And for anyone who's looking, this is the picture of her mom's um, dish. That yeah. is the, these are the ingredients. We'll yeah. take you to the next page to for the final dish. And it's such a colorful, yeah. um, very the reason, colorful book. Yeah, and the reason why that my mom's is different is because she cooks it with a lot of um, bell peppers, which is a bit unusual. Uh -huh. Uh, people uh -huh. use like tomato, it's just tomato, but bell peppers like really kind of give it that kind of richness in color and a taste. That's why it's like mommy's, um, you know, eforio. Um, uh -huh. So and she's always, you know, she's just, uh, she just she's with me sort of you know, over the weekend and we're just cooking away. It's just wonderful. So that's it. That's the dish. Yes. When I come to Nigeria, I do hope to experience this dish mostly. It looks so delicious. You'll love it. You'll love it. I think there's so many dishes in there. The one looks a bit sort of daunting if you're not used to Nigerian food. But a lot of it is made of like um, fresh, I mean, that's sort of like our equivalent of spinach. That's mm -hmm. what I call spinach in a tomato, spicy sauce, a lot of peppers. Um, so um, there's so much, so much to try. 
All the beans, yeah. this is also great as well. The beans, the yam dishes are really good entry points as well. Mm, yeah. I am excited about it. This is this should definitely be good. And then yeah. as far as deciding to expand, or was it an expansion for you to open up and to have rooms and places that people could stay? How did that happen? Well, that happened first. So the, the hotel's uh -huh. been here for a long time. We've been here for, I mean, about 18 years, actually, which is, I'm showing my age now. <laughs> Um, okay. And that happened uh, when I came back to the UK, and I said my business partner Chike, um, we said we decided to open up the space because there was really nothing um, for people coming to Nigeria to visit that really kind of showcased us as um, Nigerians. So as I said, the, the design of the place and the decor is very much about it's all handcrafted, locally made furniture. You know, all the rooms and new designs. You have a real experience with the music and the art mm -hmm. gallery. And of course, the food as well. And the Rishishu Kitchen sort of was a missing link, actually, from all of that. So I think having, you know, set up the Rishishu Kitchen, you still have, you have, you know, you're able to sort of explore fully um, Nigerian culture, be it through food or music or art. And that's what, that's what it's, that's what it's about. Yeah. I love it. That's fantastic. And how can people find you um, and connect to you? Um, to me, we can get we can get um, hold of me at through Bogabiri, Tola at Bogabiri House, um, or through the uh, Orishushi Kitchen website, uh, which is uh, Orishushi Kitchen uh, dot com, or Instagram is probably the best way. Um, Tola Akerile, my name. Thank you. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, and also we have a Bogabiri handle as well and the Orishushi Kitchen Handle. So all those three are ways you can get me. Of course, there's a design side as well, but in terms of the book and uh, Bogaburi, I think those are the, the best ways of reaching out to us. Yeah. And then also, as far as your interior design, um, I got a chance to look at the website for your hotel, and it's beautiful. We get a chance to see some of your work on display. Did you want to tell us some more about that, of yourself as an artist and interior designer? Yeah, so um, I, I sort of had, have a finance background, actually, mm. funny enough. <laughs> so that was my former life. So when I came back to Nigeria, I always see um, set up Bogabri, and I actually love that whole sort of process of um, putting a, a, a hotel together, which I hadn't really done before. So I did that, and I, I sort of did a couple of other sort of restaurants following that. And, and really from there, um, so many requests to still come and do this and help out with that. So I went to retrain as an interior designer. So I now work um, in Lagos, uh, mainly um, my studio is in Bogodri, Um And we have a, a few uh, architects and uh, project managers that work with us. And we basically do um, restaurants and hotel projects. Wow. And uh, we had a, recently we had a exhibition, which was, just really showcasing um, Nigerian sort of craftsmanship in terms of the furniture. So even though we're, our designs are quite contemporary, we always want to include the element of the ma amazing, amazing, amazing art that we have here, right. but also um, the you know the, what what people are doing locally. So that exhibition was just two weeks ago, and it was just about showcasing uh, what what people are doing, which people don't really always get to see. And it was really well received. So the designing was is um, you know something that I very much enjoy. It takes up a lot of my time now. But of course, my my first love is um, the Woodbury House and the kitchen, which I set up when I came back to Nigeria. You know, like so many years ago. After being in London, I've been in England for twenty years. So it was pretty amazing to sort of come back and be able to. Um, and do that, and you know, be able to set up this thing that matters to me so much. Basically, mm. yeah, and we just had the uh, art season here in Lagos. Um, the international community coming to see what Nigerian, uh, what's in Nigeria in terms of the art, the culture. Oh, wow, well, you said it was called what art season or art? Yeah, art, art week, art week. Art week. Um, wow, so we have a big art fair, yeah, art, um, art X, and just this is the weekend of gallery hopping and parties, and you know, it's been nice. so much fun, yeah. And then before that, we had design week, before that, we had. Um, fashion week so this is like this is a good time to come to nigeria so october so, i'm you look i'm looking at i'm like okay so october yeah, all of this you'll happens. love it yeah wow. so we have fashion week we have design week and we have art week so um i think you know people are looking nigeria's got a lot to offer 
and not, not many people know. So things like this and the book and um, the you know art X and all these other things kind of like highlight what's happening here. So. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. please send me information and links about that because I would love to hear I will. more I will. and see what's happening, um, particularly uh, with what's happening with women artists in Nigeria. There's always uh, some interest there. Yeah. I'm so happy that Lisa, that Lisa Pegram could introduce us and be able to connect us and be able to have a chance to showcase your work and what you're doing. And it's just a, a pleasure to speak with you and I hope that anyone who, um, first of all, I hope also that you submit, I would love to have you submit one of these recipes to Reclamation. I think that would be um, amazing. We have an online exhibition um, okay. where we're sharing, uh, looking at the art of family, like looking at the art of the kitchen and how artists take care of themselves and how they take care of their community. So in there, people are able to submit and participate in the exhibition and, and have their recipes as art. Um, so I would love for you to be able to do that. But Tola, it is such a pleasure to talk to you. And I do hope that we can stay on each other's radar and, and keep yeah. what's going on. Definitely, I hope so. I hope to see you in Lagos very soon as well. I, I, I hope you do too. So yeah. everyone, please make sure that you look up um, Tola you can find her on Instagram. We'll make sure that you can see her IG again and how to reach her and look at the amazing project that she's doing in Nigeria. Um, and then also see how she's exposing us to different Nigerian recipes and food with her book. And Thank it's you. just as beautiful. And I, I'm definitely looking forward to get into it. And Tola, we will hopefully meet soon on that side of the pond. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. We do have some videos on YouTube as well. If you want to try some oh, of the awesome. dishes, you can, you okay. can cook along with them. Um, we cook along. It's called Oishishu Channel. You can cook along with me. Um, my mom is also there. So um, nice. do look out for that as well. But Milani, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. I really enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone, we will see you next Monday for another episode of the Curative Collective. Um, and talk to you then. Bye. Bye.